verse 13, he left them getting into the boat again. By the way, they just fed 5,000 people this time, so this is the second time in a few chapters that they've multiplied food, all right? So that's the context. He left them getting into the boat again, departed to the other side. Now the disciples had forgotten to take bread. They did not have more than one loaf with them in the boat. Then he charged them saying, take heed, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. They reasoned among themselves saying, it's because we have no bread. But Jesus being aware of it said, why do you reason because you have no bread? Do you not yet perceive nor understand? Is your heart still hardened? Having eyes do you not see? Having ears do you not hear? And do you not remember? When I broke the five loaves, I mean, you know, when God's asking you a question, it's not because he's lacking information. He's giving you the privilege to paint yourself into a corner where his logic and reason is the only thing worthwhile, all right? So he's doing us a favor. So he asked them a question. When I broke five loaves for the 5,000, how many baskets full of fragments did you take up? They said 12. Also, when I broke the seven for the 4,000, how many large baskets full of fragments did you take up? They said seven. He said to them, how is it you don't understand? This is a hilarious story to me because he talks to them, he warns them about leaven. Leaven is literally the influence on the mind. Herod, Pharisees. Herod, political system. Doesn't mind you believing in God, just don't bring him into the equation. It's very humanistic in nature. Herod, Pharisees. Pharisees, the religious system. God is at the center of everything, but he's impersonal and powerless. So Jesus says, be careful of these two ways of thinking. What did the disciples just experience? The multiplying of food for the second time. That makes their response very funny. Jesus says, be careful. Beware of the leaven of Herod and the leaven of the Pharisees. And the disciples go, do you bring the bread? You know, you can just see Peter turn into John, you bring the bread? I didn't bring the bread. Ask Judas, he has the money. And they're looking around, they can't find any bread. And it's like Jesus says, I wasn't talking about bread, but let's pretend I was. Do you remember when we fed the 5,000? So he completely changes subjects because they just dug themselves into a fear hole because they don't have food. And so he starts asking them questions. So when we fed the 5,000, started with five loaves, how many baskets left? 12. When we fed the 4,000, we started with seven loaves. How many baskets did we have left? Seven. This is divine map. We fed more people and had more leftovers when we started with less food. When we started with seven loaves, we fed a smaller crowd and we had less leftovers. Do, do you see what, what he's doing? He, he's trying to shake them loose from, from the, the logic and reason that is tied to earthly resources, because one of the things that the Lord is revealing to his children, those who discover who he is and who they are, he's discovering, he's revealing, not only do we have identity, not only do we have purpose, not only do we have destiny, but we live with access to unlimited resources. I don't mean for, the, uh, for building personal empires and kingdoms, I'm talking about everything that is needed to accomplish what he assigned us to do. And children understand the greatness of their father's resources.